Hi guys, welcome to Parrot Playhouse. I'm here with Thomas. Casey's over here. There's Casey, she's trying to talk. And today, Casey's cage arrived. Her new official handicap cage. That's gonna make her life so much easier. And I've been talking with Kim from Everlasting Hope Rescue Sanctuary. They specialize in handicap birds. But with the guidance of Kim, she's been sending us some awesome pictures of how to set this cage up. We're gonna set up the perfect cage for Casey. And then Kim also sent Casey a bunch of stuff to make her life easier as she transitions to this new life of being blind and not be able to get around very well. So this video will be good for people, for people's birds that are having the same issues or if you ever have an issue where your bird's gonna require a safe cage, this will be good as well. So that's why we're gonna share our journey. But first, because the cage just arrived, it's in a box. They don't put it together for you. So I gotta get the power tools out. We're gonna put it together and then uh, start creating Casey's cage. So let's do this. Yeah, you can help me. Are you gonna help me? So this is what Kim sent me. So it is the non-stick wrap to sit on the perches so Casey doesn't slip. And then these, it's basically these pads. So there's four of them, so they're washable and I can lay them at the bottom of the cage just in case of Casey falls. And actually this is where she's gonna be walking because the perch is gonna be like right on the ground. Cause the challenge is I don't want her to climb this. Uh, she also sent me this little pinata from Planet Pleasures and a kebab. So I'll put like little treats in there. And then she sent me this as well. Give something for Casey to chew on. And then awesome, these awesome bowls. So link for everything. Um, most everything will be at the bottom of the description so you guys can get it for your birds if you want to. And then she also sent me those bowls that are going to be in here as well. Um, this, Melissa Davis from Facebook, she recommended that I wrap these up and down uh, the sides so Casey doesn't climb up. And then Kim also recommended that I line K uh, toys along the cage so Casey doesn't climb up. So we're going to do this right now. So I'm gonna put the pads in. So I already have one in there right now and I'm folding them like this. And they're super thick and comfy. Like if she was to fall, she wouldn't get hurt. And then her nails won't get caught in there also. So they're just awesome. So I'm gonna put this here. They're so nice. I'll put the link below so everybody can get this for their birds if they need it. So now I'm adding paper towels over it. I don't want to use pee pads because pee pads can have plastic and different things in it and I don't want her to eat it. So paper towels are safer. I don't want to use newspaper because she's actually going to be standing on whatever I lay at the bottom of the cage. So paper towels are going to be the way to go for this. But this is Parrot Town's uh, Grapewood Perch. This was the perch that originally stopped her from plucking. So I'm going to choose a color. I mean, she can still see shadows, but I'm wondering if I choose like a super bright color, I'm wondering if she'll be able to see it. So we'll see. I love to wrap this tape around all my birds' perches. It helps relax their feet. It's great for birds with arthritis. It helps them to grip better. And then when I place, attach the perch to the cage, I'm going to make sure there's only like a quarter of an inch between the perch and the cage because if your bird falls over they can actually get their neck stuck or their body stuck between the perch and the cage so you have to be so careful with handicapped parrots okay so here we go so we're weaving through so my mom's helping me there we are i just love these because they're also an awesome chew toy so she can chew on it and it's safe this cage is basically going to be a safe cage where she can't get hurt it's finished. I can't wait for Casey to see it. I wonder what she's going to think of it. And I will explain everything what I did in this cage in just a second. What do you think of your new place? Huh? What do you think? She's just looking around. She's just like, what is happening? <gasps> she can't really, she can't see. But she can see, like what she can see is shadows. So she's trying to figure everything out. And she's also trying to like figure out which way is west and east and God knows what. Huh. We're just gonna take our time. We're gonna take our time. You gotta move slow with these birds. And she's gonna be in her new setup. I'd 
stay in here. Hi. Not ready yet? <laughs> Give me nails. Here's my hand. Ooh. Okay, want some food? Nice. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while. I love you. I love you. Such a good girl. You remember saying that? I used to say that all the time because I would say it to you all the time. Because you are such a good girl. My sweet girl. Two hours later, she finally stepped off my hand. She was so much more comfortable having that perch from her old cage in there. And then I stuck the water bowls. Do you see those tall water bowls? They're actually cat bowls that Kim sent me. That way she doesn't have to bend her neck down too low. She had a stroke and it's really hard for her to bend her neck down. So I love those. And then the metal bowl, bowls over there, they actually have rubber on the bottom so she doesn't slip if she's on the ground when she's eating. So I have two different types of bowl choices in there and it's just so helpful. And then you see all her toys lined up on the side. Those are all planet pleasures. Well, most of them anyways. And so she has toys that she can chew if she chooses and then all the planet pleasures all that paper reefs uh, it prevents her from climbing up and she can chew on those as well so there's so much for her to do and if she still can see color she'll definitely be able to see something in this cage but i don't know if she can still see color so she has the big perch right there that she's on and she loves that perch now she has the parrot town perch in front of her and then she has another parrot town perch on the right side of her. And then she has a flat perch on the left side and then all that stuff to chew. It actually took a while to move these perches around and get it just right. So if you have a handicapped bird, you might have to change the cage a couple of times till it is perfect for them. And look, now she's eating. Don't forget to make those perches low enough. If they fall forward, you want to make sure their head doesn't get stuck between the perch and the cage. stressed out I don't know you know having a blind bird that's had a stroke and everything else there's just a lot of stress involved I every night when I go to sleep it'd be like oh my gosh is she gonna be there in the morning you know I I, I, I do those type of things and um, you know what I just got to make her life the best possible right now and just take care of her the best I can and I'm so thankful for Kim for helping me with this and Melissa um, because I really didn't know where to start with this whole thing. I mean, I know about birds. I know a lot about birds, but this is a whole different thing. Like I've never dealt with a blind parrot that went blind overnight. And I know I keep saying that, but I haven't. So it's just a whole different animal when you're dealing with this. Um, so there's a lot of things for her to do and thank you for following her journey and uh, she's eating. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, did you just try to say something? Are you, did you just try to say something? Huh? Yeah, all the other birdies are jealous of your cage. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we love you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps. Links for everything will be below. 